Hey everybody, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. My name is Instant Name Your Game Dev, and today we'll talk about how to make our character fade based on the camera distance, so that when I'm facing with my camera against the wall, and I move my character very close to the wall, they fade out so that I can actually see through them. Now, this is pretty customizable. You can change stuff like how low opacity they will reach, and other stuff like that, so it is pretty customizable, and as you can see, it is a pretty smooth transition. So, without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. So, here we have a basic project inside of Unreal Engine. Currently, it's just a third person template included with Unreal Engine, but you can use any project you want. First thing you want to do is go to your character's material. So, to do that uh, with the mannequin included in Unreal Engine. You just have to open up your content drawer, go to characters, go to mannequins, go to materials, and go to this M mannequin material. And this is the material of our character. So the first thing we want to do is somehow calculate how far the camera is from the character model. Now to do that's pretty easy. We just want to go all the way down here into an open spot. We're going to right click on our keyboard and type in fade. And you should see there's this node called camera depth fade. Click on that and this will practically calculate how far the player is from the camera and thus fade out. So let's test how this looks. Let's go ahead and plug in the result into the opacity mask from our, in our uh, M mannequin. And uh, we can just go ahead and apply. Gonna hit save, then we're gonna need to hit play. And now if I move my character close to the wall, you should notice that um, he is fading out, but it's like a abrupt cut. So he isn't really fading, he's just going invisible. To fix that quite easily, or well easy, we just want to go back to our M mannequin material. And then we want to drag off the result and type in temporal. And you'll find this node called Diver Temporal AA. And what this node does is it's practically a texture that has like big holes in it. And so the idea is that it allows us to create transparency, but have it be quite light in performance or relatively light in performance because it won't be fully transparent. It also creates a quite nice effect, so that's why I'm going to use it. I'm going to drag the result from the Devil Temporal AA into the Opacity Mask. And you can already see it just has this light amount of transparency. So if I hit uh, Apply, and I go ahead and go to my third person map, and go to the wall, you can see I just fade away, but I'm still kind of visible, but you can also see that I kind of have, well, it would be hard to see on YouTube, but I do have holes in me right now. And the thing is, it's because the fade distance is starting too far away already, so we have to change the settings to fade better. So let's go back to the M mannequin, and here at the camera depth fade, yet the fade length is how for how long the fade goes on. So you just want to hold one on the num, not numpad, but the number row on your keyboard and left click. This will create this new singular node. We're going to set this value to 200. I think that's a pretty good default. We're going to right click it and convert it to a parameter. Then we're going to call this parameter uh, camera fade length. I will plug that into the fade length. Um, then we'll go ahead and go to the fade offset and also set that to a value. So we're going to hold one more keyboard again, left click, and I'm going to use a default value of zero here. I'm going to right click and convert to a parameter and call this camera fade offset. So, and then I'm going just to quickly go ahead and connect it to the fade offset. So the idea is, is that the camera fade is for how long the character will fade away. And the offset is how far away it will start fading. So if the offset was 50, 
then the fade will happen from 250 to 50. So that's just like a nice offset. And uh, so let's go ahead and test that with our new settings. So just going to press apply, go to our third person map. You can see it isn't uh, transparent anymore, but if I go to the wall, he goes transparent. Now uh, we have a few problems. Firstly, if I move away from the wall, you can notice my character does not have a shadow anymore. And uh, that's not because of my Unreal Engine settings. The character did have a shadow in the start. So to fix that is pretty easy. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go back to our NM mannequin material. And here after the divot temporal AA, just want to drag off and type in shadow. And it'll be the shadow pass switch. This will allow this to kind of not really... This won't affect the shadow then anymore, so the character will have normal shadows. You just want to plug this value, the out value, into the opacity mask. You're going to see there's an error. That's because we need to put a value between 0 and 1 into the shadow. So if I hold 1 on my keyboard and then change the value to 1, that will just tell the shadow node to... Uh, not affect the shadows in the way, well, affect the shadows in the way we want it to. So we're just going to connect that to shadow. And you can already see in the material editor, there's already a shadow. So let's go ahead and press apply. Let's see if I hit play. Now you can see my character has a shadow again. And when I go to the wall against the wall, the player still has the shadow it should have. Now, um, the problem is that this is still not very customizable. Because the biggest problem is I don't want the character to be this transparent. I want to cap how transparent he can get. Because I don't feel like this creates a great effect. So I'm going to go to my M mannequin material. And just after the camera depth fade and before the devil temporal. Just going to go ahead and create more space. Going to drag off the result from the camera depth fade. And type in remap. And just use that node. I'm going to connect the result into the alpha threshold. Now the idea here is that the this will take the input, aka this will take the output from the camera depth fade and transform it in different values. So completely faded away we can set to a custom new value. So to actually use this remap we're going to hold one on our keyboard and left click. I think I'm going to set this value to 0.3. Then I'm going to connect it into the target low. I'm going to right click and convert to a parameter. This is going to be called camera, uh, sorry, called camera fade lowest opacity. So this will be the absolute lowest opacity our character can go. And uh, yeah, this should be almost complete. I think one thing I want to do, or two things I want to do, is I want to add a parameter to this random. Because what this random does, is this changes the pattern of this Deverine effect that is on the transparency. Um, so it would be cool to be able to adjust that. So I'm also going to press 1 on my keyboard. Going to leave the value at one for randomization then i'm going to go ahead and connect that to the random i'm also going to right click convert to a parameter and call this camera fade um diver randomness yeah and that uh, this is pretty good so far um then all i really want to do is i want to select all these variables or all these parameters uh, except that one that's just a constant then in the bottom left under material expression i want to go to the group type or delete none and call this camera fade so that when you have a material instance all these uh, parameters will be grouped up together and then finally the last thing i want to do is you can notice all of these um kind of weird nodes um that's a feature they actually added in unreal engine 5 or later versions of i believe in the newer versions of unreal engine 5 
So I'm going to use it. Um, practically how you use this feature is pretty simple. You drag off the output of the shadow pass switch and you type in named reroute and you're going to see under utility there's an add named reroute declaration node. If you click on that, now you can name this anything you want. I'm going to name this opacity mask. Now I can disconnect the shadow pass switch top connection and I can go to the opacity mask, right click and type in, type in opacity mask and under named reroute. Now I actually just rerouted this and now I can put this anywhere in my, um, well, fin here. And so I can move this out of the way, select all of this and press C to comment it and call this opacity mask uh, camera fade so now it's separate from that and uh, yeah this is done i can go ahead and press apply you can also press save when you're done with this asset go back to the third person map if i hit play now i can move my character and he doesn't fade out as much and because um we did all of those parameter work and all that. I can open up my content browser if I just uh, alt tab. Okay, wait. Um, let me just uh, press F8. Going to open up my content browser and I can go to my instances folder here. Go to the Quinn folder and under MI Quinn. Now I can adjust these values uh, live. So if I drag this uh, or undock this, go to the third person map, scroll all the way down, then here on the camera fade, I can set the diver pattern. So if I want, I can make it more divered, aka more small holes or just really big holes. And I can customize that however I want. I can also set the fade length. So for how long it will fade, I'm just, gonna leave that at 200 then the camera fade lowest is how the absolute lowest opacity our character will reach so if you only want him to fade like a small bit you can put this to 0 0.6 and then you'll only fade a small bit and then uh, i'm going to leave this at 0 0.3 then the camera fade offset will just be how far away from the character this fade starts i'm gonna leave it at zero but uh, yeah that's it um, let me just go, uh, yeah, and that's it. So thank you guys for watching guys. If you like the content, please subscribe it. Like if you liked the video, hit dislike if you didn't, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Good night, everybody.